Okay, guys. So let's uh, continue on. We want to now show that every non-empty subset of the natural numbers has a least element. This is the, called the well-ordering principle. Okay. So, I mean, technically anything you can prove with a well-ordering principle, you can also prove by induction or by strong induction. Okay. But um, this is, these are just ways that, uh, you know, different ways to organize our ideas. Like for some proofs, a proof by the well-ordering principle might look really a lot nicer than a proof by induction. For other proofs, a proof using strong induction might go really nicely. And sometimes the simplest, like a proof by induction is the nicest. But um, so you just choose the best tool for the job. And so what we're really saying is that, uh, you know, in terms of what you can prove, they all prove the same thing. So you might as well just use whichever is most convenient. Okay, so let's just state the well-ordering principle. Um, let S be non-empty and S is a subset of the natural numbers. Then S has a least element. Okay. So proof. So what we're gonna do is that um, you can think of this, we're gonna prove that if S is a subset of the natural numbers, which has no least element, then S is equal to the empty set. Okay, so let S be a subset of the natural numbers. Suppose S has no least element. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna prove the statement by induction. Let P of N be the statement. Uh, N is less than or equal to S for all S. So we're going to prove P of N by induction. 
Okay. I guess we should say we proceed by induction to let you know that we're using induction. Okay, and let's say we're using a base, we, use, we do the base case. N equals zero. Well, we have to show that zero is less than or equal to S for all S. Okay, this is true because zero is less than or equal to every natural number, and S is a subset of the natural numbers. This is true. Since we've shown that zero is less than or equal to n for all n. Okay. So p of zero. Okay. Now assume p of k, or let's assume p of n. We have to show p of n plus one. So what we have assumed is that uh, n is less than or equal to s for all s in s. Okay. So there's two cases. The first case is that n is in s. If n is in s, then n is the least element of s. Right, because it's an element of s that's less than or equal to all the elements of s, that's the definition of least element. Okay, that would be a contradiction. Okay, so we can ignore this case. So it must be that So it must be that N is not an element of S. And what we want to now see is that we want to show, so our claim is that N plus one is less than or equal to S for all S. That's our claim. So we want to prove that. Well, how do we do that? Well, we know that n is less than or equal to s, but not equal to s, to any s. So that means it must be less than. So first, to prove this claim, note that n is less than s for all s. But one of the things we showed when we were proving um, the fact that uh, any two natural numbers are comparable, we showed that um, if, if n is less than s, then n plus one is less than or equal to s. If you remember back on Monday, we showed by induction, let me just write it as an aside over here. We showed that, we showed that for all N and M, if N is less than M, then N plus one is less than or equal to M. If I remember correctly, we did this by induction on M. So we're just using that property again here. Maybe that means I should have made this a lemma or something, but that's fine. Okay, so now we've shown that N plus one is less than or equal to all the elements of S. And that's just the, the, um, the statement P of N plus one. 
So we've shown P of zero and we've shown P of n implies P of n plus one. So by induction, we must have that P of n for all n. So let's see what that means. So now we've shown P of n for all n. That means we've shown that n is less than or equal to s for all n and for all s. Okay. Now, if s is not empty, let s be an s. And notice that s plus one is a natural number, but s is, I'll say, but s plus one is not less than s. Not true. Okay, so if s is not empty, any element of S kind of uh, contradicts the statement P of S plus one. When we know P of N is true for all N, so our contradiction must be that S is uh, S has to be empty. So S is empty. So we've shown that any set of natural numbers, which has no least, least element has to be the empty set. And that's um, the well order. Okay. So um, with the last five minutes, I just want, so there was a, someone asked a question about this earlier, but I just want to tell you, you know, there's like many different forms of induction that we haven't even mentioned yet. So I just want to tell you a few of them. You know, one example, So I'll say induction in practice can take many different forms. We can, it can come in the form like, um, it can come in the form like assume one P of A for some integer a and assume for all k bigger than or equal to a, p of k implies p of k plus one. Then um, p of k for all k bigger than or equal to a. Okay, so that's one form. And it just means like, um, you know, the base case is not P of zero, the base case might be like P of five or something. And you can also prove this by regular induction. Another form of induction you might see is something like this. Assume P of K for all K in some range and two, assume for all K bigger than or equal to B, or I should put N, for all N bigger than or equal to B if, um, P of K for all A less than or equal to K less than or equal to N, then P of N plus one, okay, under those two assumptions, then P of N for all N bigger than or equal to A. So this was a form that was mentioned in the question. Sometimes our, your base case is like a range of base cases. Okay, 
but the induction hypothesis is still like um, over some range. Okay. But you can still prove this using um, induction. Okay. So, um, so what I'll try and do is just make a quick video on how these relate to the, and I think on the assignment, um, I might put a couple of questions about induction. But not too many. Okay. But that is, uh, that is pretty much it for what I had to say. Um, before I go, were there any, did you guys have any questions? Oh. Um, how many assignments will we be getting? Um, at least four more, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's it, I guess. Um, you know, uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, yep. Take care. Bye.